During this video, I'll show you step-by-step -step instructions on how to create your own whimsical turtle. Included in your kit are the tips and techniques, examples of other painting party kits I have available and tutorials at my website at nettieprice.com. You'll get a sparkling mini magnet, an eight by 10 canvas board that's already pre-painted black, the painting pots consisting of two white, one yellow, red, blue, and a sparkle pot, along with a paintbrush. You'll get a paper plate, a paper towel, and you'll need to get a little cup of water. Now one thing that's not included in the bag that I use while the, when the painting is totally complete and dry is a Sharpie marker. Now you can use a fine point, a regular point, any kind of felt tip marker that you'll have um, around the house. It could be a pen. Um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a Sharpie. Okay, with that, let's get started. We're going to start this painting with the turtle's face. And I just want to point out to you, his face is a little bit complicated. So I suggest you watch first and then paint. I'll give you time to stop the video and then you can, you can um, do the face at your own pace. But what we're going to do is start with his eyelids and then work around the face and do the nostrils and the mouth. But first we have to mix green paint because we don't have any. So to mix green paint, we want to take some white. I'm just going to paddle it onto the paper plate. We'll take two white. I want to get some yellow. Two yellow. Now I'm just going to get as much paint off as I can and then get a blue. I'm only going to take one blue. Now we're just going to make a nice green. Mix it. I very rarely mix colors on my palette, but because I don't have green, we're going to make a nice green. And get that in there, make sure that we have enough. Okay. Now what we're going to do is start with the eyelid and because this brush is too big, what I'm going to do is flip it around and use the end of the brush. I'm going to get as much paint on the tip of the brush and we're just going to do, I'm just going to move this over a little bit. We're going to do the top of the green eyelid with the end of the brush. So I'm going to get that on there, scoop it on, and just move it around with the tip of the brush. It's actually pretty easy. I don't want to cover the line, and I just made like a half moon. Here, I'll show you. Nice and close. That's what I did. So I'm going to do that to the other side. Kind of on a slant. go. I did the half moon. I left some black along the outside. Now I'm going to do around the other end, the bottom of the eye. I'm just going to draw that in. And the rest, I'm just going to draw it like it's a, I'm using a paintbrush pencil. the other eye. Okay, that's about it. Now what we're going to do is the nostrils. So I'm going to clean off that part. I'm going to use my paintbrush part. I'm going to fill in the rest of his head. Now the nostrils are like watermelon seeds that I want to paint around. So here's one watermelon seed, and here's the second watermelon seed. See how I left the black? And now his smile. I'm gonna leave this black as the smile. And now the chin is going to come around I'm 
meet the other line. So I left the black showing. I'm going to fill in the white of the eyes. Now the next part I want to do is the neck. Mix a little bit more. There. There's the neck portion and I want to leave the black. And now I want to do the leg. Now this is just the first layer. So I want to get the neck in a little bit closer. Closer to the foot or the leg. There we go. Now I want to do the next. Put the tail in. Oop, just a little magnet. This is where the tail goes. It's just a little hook. And get some more blue and yellow and white. Now I want to get the leg in the back. I'm painting the back leg. Here we go. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Just remember we start with the eyes. We go around. And now we're going to do the pupils of the eyes. So I want to clean off the back of my brush, dip it in the white, and make a crescent. Just like that. Now at the end, we can touch up the eyes with the black marker, the black pen, the Sharpie. It's just a little small area. Okay. I'm gonna take a break so that you can work on the rest of this at your own pace. The next step, we're going to do the shell. If you notice, the shell is just a series of geometric shapes. We have squares along the bottom, and we have one, two, three, four, five, a six-sided, and then five-sided around the outside. So let's start with that. We're going to do mix the red with the white and make a nice pink. So I'm going to do about two scoops of red. And I'm going to get some of that paint off. And then get a scoop of white, a couple scoops of white. Okay, now I'm going to mix it together a little bit. And I want to do, I'm going to use the width of the brush. Notice that I'm not covering up the black that separates the shell from the body and I'm making them about the same size. I'm making them about two widths apart. And this is just the first layer. I'm going across the bottom of the shell. Now this one is gonna be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. Bring in the black line a little bit closer. I don't want to have so much black in between the squares. Okay, now we're going to start with the middle, and it's a house top. A rooftop in the center, the sides, and then a ditch. Okay. I'm 
and the next one is going to come up along the bottom edge come down out and then along the bottom of the little squares and this is going to fit in the same way So we're starting at the center and we're working our way out. I'm going to come up, do the same kind of shape all the way to the end. And on the other side as well. Come in here, do the same shape, bottom, bottom, roof, roof, and over here, bottom, bottom, roof, roof. Now I may need to make these a little bit bigger. It's working out a little bit different than our magnet. So we're going to pull this, make this a little bit bigger. Make this a little bit bigger. Because we want the shape on the outside to come around. So this guy needs to come out a little bit more. And we're just adjusting. Now this one. Now see how we've made kind of the tortoise looking shell with the bumps. Now what I'm going to do is just fill in these shapes. So I'm going to stop the video. You can fill in your shapes, work on making this curve so that you still have black around the outside because that's where the background is going to come in and kind of fill in and get these shapes as close as you can without covering all the black line. So this might take you a little time, so turn off the video and then just try to concentrate on what you're doing. Okay. Okay, I filled in the rest of the yellow in the background, and now we're going to do the second layer on this tortoise shell. What I want to do is make a lighter pink. I'm still going to use the red and the white, so I'm going to take a dollop of white, maybe two, and then just one of red not as big as the last time and I'm going to go on the inside of the shell so it's just going to look like this use the shape of the brush and leave the darker on the outside and I also can take you know mix in the white on the canvas to give it some texture. And I'm going to go over all of the little insides of the shells, the individual segments. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit more red in there, do the insides little squares get some more red I 
it, it doesn't have to be flat. I like it when the color is separated by the brush strokes. I have one more to do. Okay. And now I want to do some more variation on the yellow, and I'm going to do that with just white. So I'm going to clean out my brush and kind of make texture around all of the white with the brush strokes. Now what I can do is just take white and paint it on and then paint yellow and work it in to the canvas without mixing it flat. We're just making a texture with short, quick brush strokes. I'll go over some of the shadow of the black line. Right there. And come up close to the head. Now I'm going to dip it in the white. Now I'm going to dip it in the yellow. And short, quick brush strokes. All different directions. Kind of gives it like an impressionistic look. And I'm going to continue to do that. So I'm going to turn off the video and you can work on the background. Maybe do another second layer of green on the turtle and work on the shell at your own pace. So I'm going to stop the video and we'll go from there. Okay, our painting is completely dry and we're ready for the final stage of touching it up with the Sharpie marker and the sparkles. So what I'm going to do with the Sharpie for the turtle is I just want to clean up the eye a little bit and emphasize the black line in any spot that I may have lost it. I'm going to give the turtle eyelashes because that's what I like to do. And Eyelashes over here, maybe touch it up on the tail a little bit. Doesn't have to be that much. And wherever you feel like you may have lost the black line anywhere. Okay, and then for the best part, the sparkles. What I'm going to do, I think for the turtle, I'm just going to take some sparkle and paint it on there and do the inside of the tortoise shell. So you can do multiple layers. You can paint or sparkle the whole thing if you want to. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to put some sparkle inside the shell on the squares and just keep adding the sparkle because sparkle makes everything better. Well, thank you so much for joining me to learning how to paint the tortoise for the Sparkling Art Painting Party in a Bag. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at Nettie at NettiePrice.com. Or if you'd like to post a picture of your finished painting on my Facebook page at Nettie Price Sparkling Art. Thank you so much and have a great time painting. Bye.